I'm Pastor George Burkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. What does it mean that Jesus is the Christ? The Confession of St. Peter. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith of the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Share, sharing is caring when it's passing on the on higher things, and donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us filling the ears of the kids with the gospel. We need this gospel in these dark times. The Confession of St. Peter brings us the gospel of Mark chapter 8. It's probably... 27 and following. Let's take a look at it. And when, and Jesus went on with his disciples to Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked them, who do men say that I am? And they told him, John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others one of the prophets. But he asked them, who do you say that I am? And Peter answered and said to him, you are the Christ. So who Jesus is, is confessed by Peter. He is the Christ. And that confession is certain and sure, even if Peter doesn't know what it means. You see, Jesus is better than a prophet. He's better than Moses and Elijah and John the Baptist. He's the Christ. Now, Christ is anointed one. It's a word that we don't use often. We, I mean, we use it all the time, but we don't know what it means. We just sort of say, well, that's Jesus. No, what it means is, well, let's let Jesus tell us what it means. And he strictly forbid them to tell anyone about him. And he began to teach that the Son of Man must suffer many things, be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and scribes, be killed, and after three days, rise again. So, he, Peter says he's the Christ. Jesus says, don't tell anybody. And then Jesus tells him what it means that he's the Christ. He's going to suffer many things at the hands of the chief priests, teachers of the law, be crucified and die. Now, but after three days, he's going to race again from the dead. That is what it means that Jesus is the Christ. When you are asked, what does it mean that Jesus is the Christ? Who is Jesus? You tell him that you tell people he's the Christ. It means that he's going to suffer and die on the cross for my sins and the sins of the whole world. It means that, that Jesus lived his life for me and died my death. But after three days, he rose again from the dead. And that confession is certain and sure also, even if you don't understand all that it means that Jesus is the Christ, even if you're still learning what it means that Jesus is the Christ. And so this confession of St. Peter Day, we learn from his confession what it means. And his confession is more sure than Peter because Peter then takes Jesus aside and tries to rebuke him and say, you're not going to die. Jesus has to take him to school. Get behind me, Satan, for you and I have not in my, you have mind the things of men and not the things of God. To be the Christ, for Jesus to be the Christ, that means he's the one that's going to suffer and die and rise again for you. That's what we learn from the confession of St. Peter. Jesus is the Christ. That means Jesus saves me with his holy life, with his good Friday and his Easter. A blessed St. Peter, uh, St. Peter's Confession Day to you as you rejoice in all that it means that Jesus is the Christ. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.